Hey, welcome everybody. My name is Travis, and I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to make an optionless clickable uh, in HTML. Uh, right now, i got my favorite text editor opened up, which is Komodo. It's free, so if you want it, just go to cook, type in Komodo in Google or wherever your favorite search engine is and download it. Uh, so I'm going to start a new project. So we'll go to an HTML file. It could be a show file. It doesn't matter for this tutorial. And you know, if you guys ever went to a website, we got a list of options, and you can click on one of the options and something happens. Well, a lot of times it goes to a form, which is traditionally what it's used for. Uh, you know, select a, a certain option, and then the page reloads into more specific of what you want. For example, if you were to buy a car, and you picked Ford, then you would it would re the page would refresh itself, and it had like a bunch of Ford options instead of Chevy and all those other places. But instead of showing that, I want to show you exactly how you can make it into a link. Uh, so this is what this tutorial is going to be about. So, I don't know, let's title this uh, uh, Option Link or something, I don't know. And we can go ahead and start. Now this is just your basic opening for an HTML document, nothing special. Um, and so there, there really ain't much to do here, it's about not that much HTML and maybe about five or six lines of uh, JavaScript code, so should be easy to follow along. Uh, first thing I want to do is I just want to put a, a header tag in here just to make things look a little nice here. I don't know. Um, make an option list clickable. Okay, now the first thing you want to do is you, you don't have to put that in. I just did that just so it looked nice. Um, there's many ways you can go about this. You don't have to put a form in here. I like to, uh, because I just like to put anything we have the option list to it or anything a user can select. I, I, I just always put it in a form. You don't have to do this part. Uh, it's just something I like to do. And I'm going to give it a name. Like if I were to create a website, this, uh, the name is something I can reference to, reference it, to it later. Um, certainly don't have to. I'm going to call it dog breed. You, you don't have to do this part. But this part you do need to do. We need to use the select key uh, HTML tag. And we're going to give this a name. And it's going to equal dog breed. Or, I'm sorry, dog menu. Let's give it an ID of dog menu. And I should have put an equal sign there, my fault. Dog menu. And I believe that's it. Uh, after we're done with our select tag, we need to start putting our options in here. So let's go ahead and st start sticking some options in here. Option. Value equals. Uh, okay, now the value, is, since we're making this a clickable, uh, this is where you'd want to put your web page in here. For now, I'm just going to put a number symbol because I just want to show you what an option list is, which I probably should have showed you in the, in, to begin with. And it's going to end the option and. Uh, in my case, let's say the website is talking about dogs uh, and different breeds of dogs. So my first one might be Irish Wolfhound. I'm going to go ahead and copy this just to save time. Irish Wolfhound. Um, I don't know, we can call this one Border Collie. Make this one a Great Dane, and we'll make this one um, German Shepherd. Probably spelt it wrong. And let's see, uh, a Bulldog or Bull Mastiff. Okay, so if I were to save this right now, which actually I should go File, Save As. Uh, we'll name this option list.html, whatever, just because it's a tutorial anyway. If I were to save this and I were to reload this, all it would be is a simple drop down list. My thing would stop being slow. Oh, that's weird. Okay, there it is. It'd just be a simple drop down list. You know, you got Great Danes, Room Set for Bull Sats, whatever. And then whatever it is, you know, it clicks on it. Uh, so, but now I want to make that to where I click on it, it goes to a website. Preferably your own website, but for this tutorial, it's going to be linked to an external website. Alright, and I have that website right here, just, you know, 
to make it to make things uh, move along here. Um, so never mind that for right now. Okay, so in in one of them, I want to be able to make this uh, into the actual website itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this website. And I'm going to paste it inside here, just like so. Obviously, if, the, if you were creating your own website, um, you'd probably want to make this, whatever it is, dogbreach.html slash Great Dane, or whatever you named it. And simply, that's it. That's the only thing you need to do as far as the uh, HTML portion is concerned. Now we need to go ahead and, and get started with the JavaScript. So, just hit script type equals text slash JavaScript. That's why I like Komodo. It types a lot of things for me. It makes things a little bit more productive and fast, I think. All right, so we're going to start with a variable. We're going to call it URL menu. You can call it whatever you want. Equals document dot get element by ID. And it's going to be paying reference to this one right here, dog menu. So I'll go ahead and copy that. And that's all I want for that. So this variable URL menu is just paying reference to this select uh, select option up here for dog menu. That's all it's doing. All right, now I want to use the variable I just created. I want to put dot on change. So uh, when a option, well, it's not going to say it right now, but basically when an option is selected, I want something to change. And it's going to equal to an anonymous function. Anonymous because I'm not going to give it a name. Don't need to. So, so far, hopefully you, hopefully you all are with me. Um, I'm going to create another variable called user option, which is whatever the user picks for their option, whether it be Great Dane, um, Bull Mats, whatever your options are. Yeah, that was just my phone going off. Let's say user option, and I'm going to make this equal to this, oops, this dot options. Options is a property um, that JavaScript already has, and it means the options that are in here. And I use this, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but this is kind of a placeholder. Um, you could put something specifically, a specific option in there, but this uh, is kind of used as a placeholder, so I can kind of use anything on here, if, if that makes any sense. It's really hard to explain this. You can Google uh, this keyword and, and try to understand it, but it's, it's, it's kind of hard if you, if you don't use it. Uh, so this options and I'm gonna make this an array or well sort of an array and I want to ping it to this dot selected index which is again it's a JavaScript uh, uh, function I guess not function but a, a property and that's all uh, next thing I want to do is um, Oh, I forgot to do something up here. I want to create an option up here. Give it a value equal to nothing. Um, I'm going to give it value equal to nothing. And I want to make sure I put... Oh, What's that keyword? Oh, selected. That's right. Selected. Just type in selected. As if it was a selected option that the person picked. And that's really all I need. And I'm going to put, I don't know, select a breed. Select a breed below or just select a breed, I guess. Okay, now I got this fair user option on here. I needed to put that in there because I was going to put an if statement in here. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to uh, have the user be able to pick something, but if they don't pick anything at all, something's, I want nothing to happen, basically. So, here's how you're going to do it. If, and here's my test condition. Uh, I hate when I, let me go back. Okay, if. And the, the test condition I'm going to have is um, user option. 
if user option dot value, uh, which is going to be the value that is on right here, as you can see, user option dot value, uh, I want it to does not equal nothing. Then I want to perform the following code. Um, I want window dot open. I want user option. Okay, now it's going to ask for three arguments. Um, the first one is the URL, because that's what the open uh, property of the window function does. It's going to ask for whatever URL you want to open up to. And mine, it's going to be, I'm going to set it to the user option, because I have user option already set to uh, this right here, to this, this keyword, uh, which is going to be the selected index. You'll see how it all comes along. User option dot value. So it's going to be whatever the user option is, which is set to this dot options with the selected index, because this, this is all based on indexes. For example, nothing here is the zero index. This one is the first index, second, third, fourth, and fifth, so on and so forth. So whatever the value is, in uh, this case, the value of this one equals uh, this website here. So it's whatever that you, that's why I have it set with the user option, if that makes any sense to anybody. And then this other one is the set, setting the window name. Now this is kind of a poor example because it's going to an external website. Uh, but for example, I would name it dog breeds page or something. I don't know. Whatever the window, I want to name the window. And the third option is setting window features. Uh, I'm going to leave it blank. But basically what it is, is you can put width or a height in there in case if you want to just like have the new window that opens up, you know, doesn't equal like a big huge window or something. You can have it, you know, make, make it to where it's not so big. And basically this is the only code you need. So let me go ahead and save this and I hope I did everything right. Let's go ahead and load it up. Alright, so you got make an options clickable here. Let's see, so I select something. Now, I didn't set nothing on here except for the Great Dane. Obviously, you'd want to set it for all of them. Uh, so, basically, if I were to set this, nothing happens, right? But if I set it to, if I go to Great Dane, boom, it goes to the website uh, that I had it set to. And, kind of go back here. Because I had an if statement for this one, nothing happens at all. No window opens, no nothing happens because I used that not equals operator on there. So, again, if I go to Great Dane... Something happens here, and I'm able to, you know, go to this website and learn more about great things, I guess. So I hope this uh, tutorial has been helpful for you. Here's the code one last time, in case you guys are wondering. Uh, so in it, it's a, uh, if you want to go ahead and make your option list clickable, uh, maybe you want it to go to an internal page within your website. That's what, you know, what you'd use it for. Um, or maybe if there's some pictures or something, maybe a list of pictures on there. It could be used for a personal blog. Uh, it goes to a page on your website that has a bunch of pictures of maybe your house or whatever uh, on your personal blog. So that's what you would use something like this for. Uh, as you can see, the uh, JavaScript is really simple, nothing too complicated. Only a few lines, four, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six lines of code, five lines, whatever. So... I hope this has been helpful, and this is Travis. Hope to see you in the next tutorial. I may talk about traditionally what you would use um, options for in, in the relation to forms. Like if you were to fill something out online and something gets, the window gets refreshed with the information that you picked. I may do a tutorial on that. But this tutorial was mainly just for links. So I'll see you next time. Uh, this is Travis signing up.